What's up guys, hello and welcome to another vlog. Starting this vlog a bit early, trying to get a head start because these couple of days while I'm here it's supposed to be extreme heat. So already starting to sweat, it's just like 9 a.m. Um, left quite early, walked about half an hour north of uh, Inner Harbor, reached the Penn Station, this is the iconic symbol. Uh, the plan is to go take the Amtrak to Washington DC. So let's get started. Finally made it to Washington DC, still at the railway station. It was a pretty short and sweet ride, just 35 minutes. This train goes all the way up to Chicago, so uh, it was gonna make some stops on the way. The first one was DC. I think now they have a halt for about an hour or so. Uh, they're gonna swap out the engine. Now it's gonna be a diesel engine. I think I see the engine up front. Just gonna stick out for a couple of minutes to see the engine change and then start heading to the uh, National Mall where all the major monuments are and start exploring the capital of US. That engine stopped ahead of the train so I don't know maybe they're gonna do something. Anyway it's time to head out check out the Union Station and then start exploring the DC area. I'm still walking around the railway station, the Washington Union Station is like massive, the architecture is amazing and they have like three, four levels, uh, some levels are shops and the bottom level is like food court, there's like lots of things to uh, spend time here as well, so just gonna look around a little bit before exiting onto the street outside and start walking around. So that's the Union Station where I just came out from and I think I can already see the Capitol building with the iconic Oval Office and stuff from a distance here. I, I have been dreaming of taking a selfie with that, I mean for sure from a distance you can't get really close to it but, but still. Um, it's right there, right across the, the street, you can start seeing the right over there. So trying to get to a decent area there, try to take a selfie with that. Um, that would be the one bucket list item where I really wanted to be in DC for that. So let's see. It's impressive how there's like uh, the Oval Office is surrounded by government buildings all around. There's a nice lush green park in the middle and you have a clear line of sight. So even if you are this close and you're not actually inside the building, you still get a pretty nice view and it's pretty big on the inside so must be, it, it explains why this is like the call the US capital capital building has has a very strong presence here that's pretty cool I saw the board sign for the visitor center so I decided to walk that way had no idea you can get this close to the capitol building so from here I took uh, another couple thousand selfies because why not you only get this once in a lifetime so I think I have a thumbnail sorted bunch of selfies sorted so now gonna go towards the national mall area check out the other monuments as well Whew, it's 
really hot yesterday in the last vlog when I was walking around downtown and stuff I showed you there were like clouds brewing and it felt like it was about to rain and actually a thunderstorm nothing happened and still today is like scorching hot it's supposed to be a heat wave for the couple of days that I'm here and I think the day when I'm leaving it's gonna downpour so let's see uh, that's why I decided to come down in the shade there is this like nice park on the way to the National Mall so gonna go see the Washington Monument in just a bit but taking a short nap breakfast just gonna lie down here it's really nice and cool breeze out here but outside is like extreme hot and humid so definitely need a breather okay time to continue exploring time to also put on the hat it's like noon so peak heat and i was just thinking like of all the fridge magnets that i collect as souvenirs from all over the world i don't have one from us just yet the problem is like there are 50 states each state is unique in itself so there's like state specific magnets usually but dc being the state capital i think getting a magnet from here would be kind of the perfect souvenir so either i'll end up at the visitor center now or at one of these pop-up stalls along the way to try and see if i can grab a nice souvenir and i was also thinking that dome shaped building was the state capital building is kind of like the seat of the congress and representatives the active government but along the uh, along this route after the around the national monuments there is also the white house so let's see how close you can get to that for a nice picture um, i was kind of initially confused in the beginning because that building was also white the state capital and it looked big with like heavy police presence and stuff so i thought that was a residence come office joint but then I remembered, no, the residence is the White House, so that cannot be the same thing. So that's why now I'm headed this way, try and look for these couple of things. There's also the, oh, the Smithsonian is right there, Air and Space Museum, but I'm not big into museums per se. So I'm going to skip that and head over to the monuments instead and go to the very end, try and see all the monuments along this route. That was a successful detour, managed to find the fridge magnet, all the icons of Washington DC, including the White House, Senate Capitol, uh, Washington Memorial, Ram Lincoln so the, from the Lincoln Memorial, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I did see a shop, Union Central or something, at the Union Station as well, top floor. They did have a few magnets, but like very limited variety. And over here is like a much bigger shop. You can also do like tour bookings and stuff. But I think the price difference is about one or two dollar more expensive here. But not a big difference, but like a slight difference. So you can see where you want it to grab the souvenirs from. And also this area is like a like a secure site because it's all federal buildings here, DOJ, FBI headquarters, um, courthouses, whole bunch of things. So was not logging anything on the on the streets not to get into trouble but anyways going back to join the the route that i was taking before check out the rest of the monuments the food drug culture here is quite strong so i grabbed some roll and ginger ale just had it on the curbside along the way kind of like to go food mostly finger food but yeah it's good like you have it lined up all along this road for some reason i don't know why this is so particular but it also has a lot of museums and stuff so a big crowd coming together so it's easy and there's a lot of different variety so you can grab whatever you feel like it done with at least it should keep me full for a couple of hours so i can start walking and then maybe around in the evening i can take another snack ah look there's a plane flying very low altitude i think it's southwest and this is the Washington Memorial. That's the African History Museum, I think. It's a pretty big campus. So I guess the uh, one of the Washington airports is very close as it's making the approach. Okay, so right across the Washington Memorial is the Lincoln Memorial with the reflective pool gonna go check that out and then I have to go eastbound for about a kilometer or so to get close to the 
White House. That's definitely on the agenda, but for now, just going straight to get close to the Lincoln Memorial and check that out. I've only seen the pictures. I think this is the one where Abraham Lincoln is sitting on the chair or, or like a with the with the Greek pillars or like the European style pillars. So it kind of resembles the Greek architecture. So I just want to get close as close as possible and maybe also try and get close of that Abraham Lincoln statue. That's very interesting. I really want to see it up close. The setting is really cool. So there is the Lincoln Memorial, this pool. This is the World War II Memorial, the Washington Memorial, and right behind is the Capitol building as well, far off in the distance. They are all in a straight line. Kind of reminds me of how we did it back at home as well. For the White House, you take a little bit of deviation from here, but everything else is like aligned. Finally made it to the last iconic building of the day, the majestic White House. But it, this is 2.50 p.m. and the cops blocked all the pedestrian traffic saying the White House has been closed. So trying to see some glimpse of this was a really cool experience. I'm in the park in front of the White House or behind the White House, I guess. So I was looking at the map. The house house is like in one corner. The overall estate itself is like massive. So if you've seen in the movies where there are um, army helicopters that land in the campus and stuff, I think those are the gardens on the other side of this, which is the area that got closed off. So didn't get to see that, but this was a nice experience as well. And there are a bunch of people doing some like friendly protest kind of thing. So there's a lot of noise and commotion over there, but you can still get a nice peaceful shot of the White House. That was a really nice bucket list experience. So the next stop for the day is going to be the neighborhood of Georgetown uh, trying to get close to the Potomac River as well. Maybe there is a nice park or something so I could hang out by the riverside. So let's start heading that way. This is nice. I think I stumbled upon a nice uh, state park, Rock Creek Park. Um, gonna go there. Maybe it has the nice view of the river. Apparently there are boat rentals and stuff as well. the Potomac River I think those helicopters were the one that I was telling you about that I've seen in the movies that goes to the White House and the military copters because I think that side might be Virginia and then there is the defense sector over there so they were they're flying pretty low altitude and this is this whole state is like a no drone zone so you cannot fly any drones or anything because it's a very secured facility but this park is really nice waterfront park there's a lot of well, I wouldn't say a lot of people, but there are like some people just kayaking, canoeing a little bit and mostly doing river cruises. It's too hot for a kayaking tour at this moment. Just gonna chill here, find a nice place on the grass and enjoy. I found a pretty cool canal like the one I saw in Indy. This is the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal and they are doing a slow boat cruise as well in the canal if you want to give that a shot i'm just gonna walk around the canal and look at the buildings and stuff i think those are industrial buildings still so they have those like uh, brick layout on the outside kind of looks like an abandoned paper mill or something i 
I think I found the end of the boat cruise area so this is probably the docking area so I'm just gonna stay here and see how they dock the boat because that's a dead end over there and I think they close these gates once the boat comes in so that should be interesting let's wait and watch That's a pretty cool concept, like they lowered the boat, they are adding more water and then it's going to go through to the other side to dock finally. So you see like uh, the boat was up here, now it's all the way down there, they are filling more water for it to go through. Never seen a concept like this before, pretty interesting stuff. I wonder what the people inside are feeling like, they have been like lowered and on the boat side is just like these kind of damn walls, so you cannot see anything. But I'm standing above the canal so I can enjoy and see the views and stuff. It's a pretty interesting experience, I guess. So, it's 5 p.m. Maybe look for a place to grab a snack or something. Or maybe just hang out by the canal, eat an apple, I guess. Let's see, once these, this boat departs, then find a place to chill. I guess that was everything I wanted to explore in Georgetown and Washington DC in general. Time to start heading back to the Union Station now because I think the shops around here are high-end shops and restaurants and stuff and I have nothing to do here. I don't like shopping and stuff. So starting, starting to head back and maybe grab something at the Union Station before going or we'll see how it goes. But for now I have five kilometers to get there now i'm starting to see people venture out at the potomac it's like uh, 6 p.m almost so the heat has died down a little bit and it's now a good time to be out on the water So finally 33k steps later after a very long and hot day um, finally done with the walking tour of Washington DC and including Georgetown an extended neighborhood of the DC area had a really fun day ticked off everything that I had on my bucket list maybe it could have been possible to see some other angles of the White House but anyways at least I got to see something the return train is about in, in in an hour so i still have time i'll go inside just rest and maybe find some cold drink or something it's been very hot and i need more fluids but otherwise all in all a very successful day and yeah i walked about 33k steps and normally people say you can't do everything in a day the thing is i skipped quite a bit of museums so if you are a museum fan and you want to take your time with museums and stuff then definitely you can't do this as a day trip but if you are someone like me who prefers to take in more of nature side, then a day trip is quite reasonable, I'd say. I mean, I won't say I've seen everything. I've seen everything I wanted to see. So for me, it was a successful trip. But anyways, with that, I'll wrap up this vlog. Um, trying to go back inside and take some rest. Been walking for quite a bit. With this, this is the Rusty Wanderer signing off. See you again in another vlog.